Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we're joined by Dean Robinson, who's Managing Director for Modern Run at Vicen. Dean joins us today to discuss the company's modern build and modern run, and how a modern run engineering framework can lead to customer success. Thanks for joining us today, Dean, and welcome to the jam. No worries. Thanks for having me. And uh, yeah, I look forward to having a, having a chat about our business. Fantastic. So Vicen's mission today is to build a future free from the constraints of technology. What is the problem facing Australian enterprises today when it comes to IT mainly? Look, there's a lot of problems uh, that face technology uh, in, in particular in our sector. And um, obviously, first and foremost, we have to call out that security is, is front of mind for a lot of executives at the moment. And, and that is a very, very hot topic uh, right at the moment. And it will be something that will continue uh, to be a hot topic for, for some years to come. Uh, but in terms of the constraints that we see, and, and we face into uh, many organisations that are, you know, enterprise or large government uh, organisations, and, and some of those constraints are around compliance and regulation, uh, as well as uh, working in very complex environments. And, uh, you know, typically we see quite a lot of legacy technology as well. Uh, and more recently in the last few years, because uh, many of our customers have already uh, been on the cloud journey, some of them are actually facing into a um, almost like a rebuild of their existing cloud platform. So, you know, you're kind of looking at that next level of, uh, of customer, um, you know, in terms of, you know, where they need to go with their cloud platform. So almost sort of V2 of, of that. And um, yeah, we're seeing quite a lot of that in the market at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Vicent has a strategic approach, uh, which I believe includes modern build and modern run to support high impact outcomes. Um, what is this and what do they actually mean in practice? Yeah, look, it's a, it's a great question. And look, we, we have our modern build and modern run. And, and our approach for, for modern build is very much around uh, not using uh, predefined or pre-baked uh, playbooks. You know, we, we don't go into talking to a customer with, you know, a singular set of, of, of tools. You know, we, we try and be really open and transparent and have um, humanistic type conversations with our customers about the problems that they are facing. So it, it could actually be something that is constraint related or it could be technology related. And then we try and create a, um, you know, a, almost like a, a solution for, to fit their particular, um, their problem that they've got. So it's really around um, providing really strong, um, you know, high velocity engineering uh, and, and a, a framework around that. Um, and then applying all the domain knowledge and experience that we've got as an organization um, to help drive a, a better outcome for our customer. So, you know, in terms of how we do that, it, it really is a people-based approach. And, and that's the feedback that we continually get around our modern build capability. It's, you know, continually evolving with the customer as we go through that build journey uh, and ensuring that we've got the right people in the right place at the right time with the right solution. Uh, and, you know, we've got quite a number of um, you know, partners that we work with and different uh, software providers and things like that, but we, we don't actually um, specifically define one as a part of the solution. It's about what the customer needs and what is the right outcome and, uh, and approaching it that way. Yeah, for sure. We know how much uh, people focus is um, important in today's society. Um, in terms of the benefits of a modern run engineering framework, what are they? Yes, look, our modern run capability is uh, is really interesting, and it's it's if you think of it as a um, almost like a, a managed service, but then on top of that, um, you know, you've got some really really high end engineering that goes along with that. So we've actually called that modern run because we see that many many cloud platforms uh, require a lot of strong technology expertise. You know, it's no longer just running a server in a data center. Um, and there's a lot of complexity that goes with cloud and there's a lot of complexity that goes with running applications in cloud and then getting the best out of the automation components uh, of that cloud platform. So we find that with our, our modern run engineers um, and our, our site reliability engineers, uh, when they're working with the customer site, they have the ability to not only maintain uh, the cloud platform for the customer and not only maintain um, you know, integrity of that platform and service availability of that platform, but then also work into different areas that are, you know, quite complex and need, um, you know, navigation. So whether that's with cost, whether that's with compliance, whether that's with security, whether it's with uh, application development or whether it's with, you know, um, enabling their platform in different regions uh, in, in the world uh, or whether they're building out a, a multi-cloud strategy and so on. So our, our modern run teams can actually evolve with them as they go on that journey. Yeah, fantastic. And um, you mentioned how things um, are constructed and done. Can you give us a couple of real life examples of the framework in practice? 
Yeah, sure. So look, we've got a number of customers that we've uh, now had for many, many years. And and we find that, um, you know, that the journey evolves with them over those years. And and oftentimes, you know, our business will start with um, supporting their cloud environment. So we're doing the infrastructure support and, and all the kind of things that you would expect from that in a cloud environment. And then what we find is over time is as we actually um, evolve the platform for them and, and automate it and improve it and then cost optimize it, we then sort of slowly start to become that, that modern run partner where we're actually working further and further um, up the, the, the application stack, so to speak. And we're actually able to provide um, you know, more and more capability in, in that particular space. And, and, and in terms of doing that and what that actually plays out to be is that we have a, a really um, great commercial model that we actually apply with our customers that allows us to be able to flex into those different areas over time. So, so we don't just become constrained of being um, you know, a singular uh, you know, cloud platform provider, but over time, the customer can then use our capability and capacity because we're, we're not constrained um, and, and be able to help out in different areas and, and um, face into different problems that they may have. Yeah, fantastic. And um, just to kind of finish off, if someone wanted to get in touch with you guys at um, Versent to learn more about the modern build and the modern run, um, where can they find more information? Yeah, so look, we've uh, just recently relaunched our, our new website uh, with all the modern build and modern run uh, information on there. So if they go to Versent, so that's V-E-R-S-E-N-T.com.au, um, they can find out a bit more information about us and then ways to contact us as well. Uh, and uh, obviously, we'd, we, yeah, we'd love to hear from you. Well, fantastic. Again, thanks so much for joining us today, Dean, and uh, we really look forward to hearing more from Versette in the future. No worries. Thank you very much for your time.